Uh, right now, what we're going to be talking about is arc length. Uh, there's a real simple formula for arc length. As you can see, it's S equals R theta. So there are only three parts, but you will need to know the formula, so make sure that you put that in your memory bank somewhere. Where S is our arc length, so S is basically uh, the length around the outside of the circle. It's basically uh, a percentage of their circumference, so kind of keep that in mind. R is your radius, and then a theta is your angle. So um, those things are going to be, obviously, if you hold your angle uh, the same and you increase your, your radius, that's going to increase your arc length. Whereas if you change your angle, but yet keep your radius the same, that will also increase your arc length. Uh, so there are two things you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know the formula, but also one special thing about your formula. And you need to know that theta, it has to be in radians. So if you're given your angle in degrees, you make sure that you convert it into radians. If you're solving this equation for theta, then you need to know the answer that you get will be the radian measure for that angle. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's look at a couple examples. So in the first one, as you can see, here's our problem. We have S is equal to R theta. We know our arc length is 12 feet, where our radius is 5 feet. So what we're actually looking for in this problem is going to be our angle. So we're going to plug those values in. So what we'll do is we'll say 12 feet, which is our arc length, is equal to our radius of 5 feet times our angle. And we're trying to solve for our angle, so what we'll do next is divide both sides by 5 feet. If you notice, the units will cancel. So here everything cancels, and we'll be left with theta. Here the units will cancel, so our units are actually going to be uh, unitless. Okay, so we get 12 fifths, and then that will be 2.4. So that's going to be what our angle is. Now one thing you need to know is that because we don't have any units, and uh, based on our problem, we know our answer has to be in radians. So kind of keep that in mind as you're working through these problems, that if you are looking for your angle, once you find the value, that it will be in radian measure. Over in the next problem, this one's a little bit different. This time we're given our angle as 130 degrees, and we're given our radius as 3 feet. So what we can do is we can convert our angle first. So again, because I'm given uh, my angle in degrees, I want to convert it into radians because that's what we have to do in our formula. It has to be in radian measure. So we get 13 pi eighteenths. If we wanted to, we could write that as a decimal. Just make sure you don't prematurely round your decimal. So this time we're looking for our arc length, the length along the outside of the circle that's represented by this scenario. So we're going to take our radius of 3 feet and multiply it by our value our angle. Alright, at this point in time it kind of becomes a calculator problem for us. So we will say 3 times 13 times pi and then divide that by 18. So we get 6 decimal 8 6 decimal 8 1 and of course the units as you can see is going to be feet. So that's going to be the length of this arc around the outside of our circle. 